Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. So they do occupy Vanaheim, as I fear. <laughs> We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya, but it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is no peace, I see. <laughs> All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you. 
Any more than I wish to die. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village!
Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. Village. I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back to this? To be reminded of all this. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Oh! 
It wasn't enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Gulli. We marched where we drowned, fought for scraps of star. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is a champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one goal concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Huh. Well done, Grover. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. <laughs> Go! 
You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Hmm. 
Well, that did it. Tell me to kill again. What? I kill to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! Focus on the roof! 
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? To be honest, 
I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry. And it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Now that I am myself again, I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <clears throat> We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Oh! 
in my regard. Use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Ah! Sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well, the sigils can't hold forever. Let's try again. I think we'll need to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. 
At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Kratos, I see something. So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy.
Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. You have a spouse to remember fondly. Licarmer Petrias Gardenson. Riggy Peta All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail, 
I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <gasps> Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. No! So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. You have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you, Ingrid. But I won't. Find myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it?
Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, here to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with the thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make you full. What'll it be? Ready when you are. You make up your mind. And Lady Freya? What are you looking for? An 
Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. That'll polish up real nice. I'll toss it on the pile. Save me the trouble of getting it myself. About time I had something to do. Keep your bits in all the right places. Yeah, I'll take your crap. Let's make something then. Good or what? Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. That'll polish up real nice. I'll toss it on the pile. Save me the trouble of getting it myself. Need something special? A good fit. Go get yourself killed, hear me? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable. But you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. 
You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Su na. The elves in Bear's camp mentioned a gate like this, and I'll fight. They're talking about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? My sigil arrow should help with those vines. fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard. To help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Explore the river now. We hopefully write some more things. What 
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Freya, something your brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. Enough. We will continue later. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. <laughs> Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Thank thee now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm. Trails. Well, come on then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be driven. Joints get classier by the day. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? 
Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets, it's fine if Mom did! That is not fine! Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother! What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me. At Freya, at Tia, Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! Like, no! What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? Yeah. 
What is it you want? More ravens. You trying to tell me something? <gasps> First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, Lion. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! How come?
shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie. Please. Please! Charlie! Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. I need to get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Charlie, you have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow. It's beautiful. 
Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bert, is this Asgard? The wall. This is Asgard. Hold on. I'm coming.
could have led me around though. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him. Get off him. the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate... What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. I'm not in a force told by prophecy. The Alpha! side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. 
You only told Frey about it. And I didn't think to ask. Hold on. I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blade. But what can I do? There we go. Sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. Need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven, you know. From Hugin and Moonin, he's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. <gasps> uh, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean... A little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. N nothing. Uh, hey, you're doing great! You can do it, Loki! Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh, 
No wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Help <sighs> up! A white? Up here? I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. past the worst of it now. <sighs> or not. <sighs> uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Yeah! 
are connected. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides though. Get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once, there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb, by himself, all the way up Primter's wall. So, what did Loki- ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. 
One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Then why are you out there, and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. 
You are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgore. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Framther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice demo. I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do treacherous intent. So I am not letting you anywhere near the Allfather. Oh, very nice. It moves so fast. It is a that the Allfather will before they ever fought. Thing. I am sure about that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure, matter of fact. <laughs> ah, good boy. That is what he deserves. Oh no, arrows. How fearsome. Oh, that one felt special. Hope that was not the last trick you have. You're not going to stop me from seeing Odin. You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! Ah. You were counting on that to protect you? Guess those arms just got this a real shit. Whoa! Whoa! How is he doing? Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? Oh! Not even close! Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs>
like it or not, she's all father's guest. <laughs> but I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me, not yet. But he's got some very big questions, and I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Let off of it. Oh, my. See, uh, Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Reist, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Vermeer never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huryar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie Queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huryar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Rothgar. Moon Thinafen, Swarm. Moon Thinafen, Tiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. 
So is Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK, but look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif! You missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, uh, just over there. All father. Sir? <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Huh, nicely equipped. What needs work? Nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. 
This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, okay? Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. <clears throat> uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, th this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. 
Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smile there. Obsidiani Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Muspelheim? The rest of the mask is here? It's where our father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All Father thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what Loki in this tiny situation. Slow going, that. You can maybe help. <laughs> Whoa, Ingrid. Nice move. Don't bother getting up. Jump up! Hacking. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else? Throw you? <laughs> hey, jump. Jump up! I need a bigger power. Kid, there's things up there hitting us with fire. Use your bow already. Jump up! 
Up there. Arrow. Now. Up. Look up. You're the archer. Use your damn arrows. You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the all father with you. Speaking of which, Right. I want to check here real quick. Well, this isn't the right way. Oh, wow. Is that some kind of anvil? We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. They were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms, and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. I think you could... Don't play me. Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Thing to go. The mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed. Hey, come look at. You're ready. Thor, what the? Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Ugh. 
trials are just past that blood. Might be something we do to do. First we deal with them. I need a bigger time. Come on, Thor. Check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. An ogre. You worried? Not in the slightest. Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on, give me a challenge. Now to get to that shrine. Okay, that's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. Thor's still busy. I should get to that shrine. Trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Luzbahan. Feels like forever ago. the shrine. Ah! Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Up, up! Where are these things coming from? Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> huh. Edgar Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I, I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, it did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. Corpses by the time I finished cut down like these. The lava ran red with their blood. Crew. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? Yeah. 
You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. <laughs> I think you're right. Throod wouldn't look. She'd be faring better than you, at least. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Oh, yeah? I had to do something while you were off fighting. Well, check again anyways. Fine. Through the gate, like I said. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real. God still. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. But well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? <laughs> Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah. <gasps> I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me.
much time does he spend reading? Kind of jealous. Isn't that a Greek instrument? Wonder if Tyr brought that back. Huh. Dragon skull in the library. No big deal. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All well, father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. This has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm, huh. nicely equipped. What needs work?
Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? Renards. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. But I failed.
Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. <laughs> well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neither. I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. No! Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. You should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant raider attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Come. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norn? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about the prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Route 9, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Sigrun. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed you. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. 
I should have guessed it was secret helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. Hang on, brother. That building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Switching arrow. <laughs> Wait. The shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. on this. Kratos, there must be a way for us to move that shield. You were asking about the threat we're tracking. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. 
The Nords live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Say is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Couldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. <laughs> when you sought the Norns last time. To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. The wolves lead us here. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. Coming fire! Changing arrows! Behind you! Look out! Yeah! 
way forward is magically seen. Something in here is giving it power. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Nords, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated. <laughs> As I was saying, tales of time travel always strain credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does ah! anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. grew all too easily impatient with the subtle agricultural magic Freya had offered to school them in. So when things went wrong, they blamed their future. Old, we will finish later. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. We'll never find the Norns using Raiders. mystic gateways. I that much is Norns clear. Over here. Are you ready? Brother, wait. Let's see what Freya found. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! <laughs> search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then.
Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yield. Let this wait. Stay alert. This is the place. Work our way up this way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Your friends. I didn't tell them. I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Go! Oh. 
Okay, I feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. Oh. No. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Kratos, ghost of Sparta, bane of Olympus, destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot. minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred.
know it all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Switching arrows! Now, attack! Nicely done! Keep on it! Draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. <laughs> the Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead.
That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Imagine them thinking I had any desire. Secret, brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Don't lie to me. me. You served Odin from the day you left to the day he put you in that tree. You don't your favor. You watched his war. You watched him mistreat everyone and everything. And you never forget your death until you turned on you. I know it's secret. It's true. Oh, the cruel. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counsel of you. An ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in her dying? To Scott? To grow up? To Tanya? No. You all took the side of the powerful men. Even now, you see a violent god in need, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you always who you are, and it's who you are. It is not her. No, of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mimir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take you! Atreus! I'm dead! You see him the way he wants to be seen. I don't want to go back! 
Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, the destroyer of, fate. of fate. There, there must, must be a way, a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? 
You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Kratos, I see something. We're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Can we agree? It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. 
If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norms. Find a gateway, return home, consider our plans. Listen, brother, before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. Anything for Freya? What do you need? I'll disinfect my tools. will be of some use. Now, where'd you find this? Oh, thanks. Glad to take that off your hands and wash it. I'll heat up the forge. Fits. Want something in particular? And it's covered in blood. Thanks. Oh, got time to chat? Now 
tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What's he done? You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. At your service. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying? So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. to everyone. He's Odin's left hand and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... it's just as likely a trap because that bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. 
Kratos? Whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Master Kratos, I have a matter of some urgency. They're all going to blame us. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the words. Probably on account of all that incursion in the gut. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop! Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. That barrel by the gate should do the trick. So, panel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. I found that one. Behind you, look out! Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Behind you, look out! Well, I can see 
why it's an abandoned service tunnel. <laughs> This oil spill. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off here. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Go! 
Twilight Stone. We can use that. Sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? this alliance. You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take.
mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. we can open the other gate. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all Whoa. making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Oh. Ah, teamwork.
Well, who's ready for some fresh air after that? Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Fuck you! <laughs> well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. Never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you oh, snake-sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here? <laughs> Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. <laughs> okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this. Ha! 
No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right, now I can turn this at this guy. Look, you just give me this thing. Now. On it. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Seen us. They're up there. <laughs> 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 So 
until the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? Where am I going? <gasps> Over here? Over there? Can't catch me! <laughs> oh. to the board. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stone to <the> stone. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what? 